In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And we lift your spirit. Welcome to the broadcast of Holy Mass from the chapel in the Archbishop's residence, the Cathedral Rectory. Present also is Father Ingalls, Archdiocesan Vocation Director, who is our homilist today. And our reader is Mr. Pat Ehrensberg, the Director of the Archdiocesan Office for Evangelization and Family Life. Gathered here to be nourished by the love of God, well, let us first acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restore and love of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The response to the psalm, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthy and well proclaim this holy gospel, Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, 
and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I really enjoyed the show Downton Abbey when it came out. If you don't know, it's a show made by the BBC, which went viral around the world. But it details the life of some English nobility right at the break of World War I and goes on from there. But this, this noble family, they live in the countryside. You just get a glimpse into what life was like in that time period. And I think one of the fascinating parts of that show is you get to see the relationship of the nobles with the servants. They have this small army of servants that live in this mansion, and their whole life is oriented to serving them. At any hour of the day, if they want food, if they want to go if they want to have tea outside, everything stops, and all the servants make this happen. The servants live there. Their livelihood is dependent upon their service. They even put off their own aspirations for marriage and pursuing other things because they're so dedicated to serving this family. It's, it's a fascinating thing to witness. As you watch it all come together, it's like one living organism all operating in sync uh, at one time. Even more intimately, Jesus is telling us that we relate to him, his father, Believing that indeed we are connected to God in ways beyond our imagining, we offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. We pray for the church, that it may abide more deeply in the life of Christ and bear much fruits throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those entrusted with the care of our common good, that the Holy Spirit may guide them in their decision making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus, for all those. Lord, hear our prayer. Be with them and their. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the dead. We know the fullness of life in the Father's house and intercede for us below. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to remain united to you. By the power of your Holy Spirit, keep us like branches on the vine as we offer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Water and wine may become too short. 
share in the divinity of Christ, nor himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all our heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may a sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore filled with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity and heart that was given to us in time of the Holy Virgin. Together, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion written by St. Alphonsus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange, by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of God be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God, 
Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God. Be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.